Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm very excited for this video. We're going to be doing a full face of flower beauty. I've been wanting to do this for a few weeks and I finally accumulated enough products. I had some coupons for CVS and we're going to do a full face of flower beauty today. I'm so excited. I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, we're going to get into it. I, disclaimer, have actually already filmed this video one time, but I'm refilming it now. Something weird was going on with my face makeup and I'm almost positive it was because of the sunscreen I put underneath. I made a beginner mistake and I'm not a beginner which is to use a sunscreen I haven't used a whole lot underneath makeup when I'm filming one of these videos and that was not a smart idea. That's okay. I washed it off and we're going to start over. I'm really excited about this. We're going to be doing a full face of flower beauty. I did already do my eyebrows. I did not get any flower beauty brow products. I have so many products for my brows that are open right now. I just didn't feel like I wanted to buy another one. So I went ahead and did them with the e.l.f. brow soap, NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen. And I did also put a little bit of corrector underneath my eyes. I used my Neutrogena one because Flower Beauty does have a corrector. I didn't order it. You actually can't buy it in CVS with the rest of the Flower Beauty stuff. So I didn't order it. I figured I'd just use one that I already had. But everything else is Flower Beauty. So we will start out with foundation and the one we're going to use today is the original which was the light illusion foundation this is in the shade l number four if you've been watching my videos for a while you may remember i had this foundation at one point in the shade l3 i decluttered it not necessarily because i didn't love it but because the shade was so yellow i mean it was straight up like banana yellow. And this is L4. I think this is still going to be a warmer shade, but it's a little more neutral. So we're going to use this today. So I'm going to start with one pump. It is definitely a little bit dark for me right now because my self tan is fading, but that's okay. I'm just going to start Tapping this in with my BK Beauty 106, almost said 104, it's the 106 brush. And I'm trying to put as little product as possible on that blemish that I have right there because she is super red and kind of raised, so. Typically, I like to keep as little product as possible on blemishes like that. All right, so I'm just tapping this in, and you can see it is a tiny bit dark for me, but it's not bad. It's a much better match than the L3 shade was. I know that because the L3 shade is just, I don't know, it's straight up yellow. And I usually like... A little bit of a yellow undertone but that one was like extremely yellow yeah it's definitely a little bit dark right now but when I apply my self tanner again it'll be good so this is one pump as you can see it's very very luminous I kind of remember that about the foundation it's 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 definitely more of a glowy finish so if you don't love that I don't think you'll love this and I would say it's like a light medium coverage with one pump I believe if I remember correctly you can build it up and get a fuller medium coverage but it's definitely not like a full full coverage product so again this is what it looks like and they do have the new 
serum foundation. I forget what it's called, the Get Real Serum or something like that. I almost got that for this video, but I knew I already had this, so I wanted to just use this one. But yeah, we'll see how it looks once I get the rest of my makeup on. Definitely not like a super, super favorite for me. I think if you have issues with pores or you have oily skin, this is probably not going to be for you because it's extremely oily or not oily but it's very very glowy as you can see and I do feel like it slightly accentuates my pores in this area and I don't have super problematic skin or issues with pores typically if that tells you anything but we'll see how it looks once we do the rest of our face my sunscreen is not doing weird things this time around so that is good Next, we have the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I've been back and forth with this for a few years. I've tried multiple shades. I just can't seem to get this to work for me. And this is the shade Light 3-4. It's an okay match, but it's still light on me. When I use this, I always feel like it looks light. So that's what it looks like there. You'll see when I apply it, I also bought the shade Vanilla, which I thought was gonna be a better shade match, but it's not, it's even lighter, as you can see there. So there's Vanilla and there is Light 3-4. So I'm thinking maybe there's just not a perfect shade in this concealer for me, but even the times uh, when I'm just looking at it on my face and under my eyes, I didn't love how it looked. But again, I haven't used it in a long time. So we're going to go in with three light, three dash four. And I'm going to apply some in the center and a little bit in the outer corners. And then I'm also going to take a little bit on my cheek area just to kind of match up the cheeks with the under eyes because I feel like they just look, it looks too bright under my eyes with this color and that foundation color. So I feel like they need to be kind of blended together a little. So I'm gonna start blending this in and you'll see. See how light it looks. And I always forget it's very, very pigmented, just FYI. So a little bit does spread quite a bit. I'm going to take my brush now and kind of tap this in. Yeah, I feel like if I'm going to go that light under my eyes, I have to like balance it out a little bit with that same color on my cheek area. So that is what we're doing. Like, do you see how light that concealer is though? I don't know. Is it just me or I feel like even when I've looked at the colors in this concealer, I feel like the light shades are super, super light. But then if you go up to like the medium range, they get significantly darker. So it's almost like they need they jump from fair to medium. It's like there's no light range. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, I'm looking up close. I just do not love that concealer. I don't like the color and I really don't love how it looks either. I feel like it's light illusion, so you would think that it would be kind of luminous looking, but it's not. It's very dry looking and I made sure to really hydrate under my eyes too so I don't know so I don't know if you can see but I just feel like it is just not it's not doing it for me under my eyes I don't know I need to I don't know what I need to do but I've just never been able to get this to work for me all right I have a few of their like setting products but I kind of want to wait until the end to use those. So I have the Flower Light Illusion Powder, and then I also have the Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray. I'm really curious about this, but I feel like I need to wait until the end 
to apply that. So we're just gonna go straight into bronzer. So this is the Flower Heat Wave Bronzer in the shade Sunrise L number one. So this is what it looks like. It's a very interesting product because it looks kind of gray in the pan, but then when you put it on your skin, it's more of a, definitely a cooler tone, but it's a really beautiful bronze with that grayish undertone. I really like it. And we're gonna put this on the cheeks. Look how pretty it is though. It looks like it would be really scary and like shadowy, almost like a straight up contour in the pan, but then when you put it on, it's so pretty. They do have one other shade I think it's called Sunswept, I want to say, but it is much more of a warm tone. It almost has a little bit of an orangey undertone to it, but if you like something warmer, you probably like the second shade a little bit better, but I love this color. This is not new to me. I've had this for a little while. A lot of this makeup I got recently. And so these are first impressions for me. I had a coupon from CVS for 25% off your whole purchase. And then Flower Beauty was buy two, get one free. So I combined both of those promotions. And then I also had some extra, what are they called? The extra bucks, cash or whatever that you can use. So I took that as a sign that I needed to do a full face of Flower Beauty. And I'm bringing this down my neck too. But how pretty is that bronzer? It really reminds me of the Hourglass ambient lighting bronzers. They have one called Diffused Bronze Light, I think is what it's called. And the color is so similar to this. For blush, we're gonna use the Flower Pot Blush in the shade Warm Hibiscus. This I've had for a little while, so this is not brand new to me, but I do really like this color. It's a very subtle, bronzy nude. It has a good bit of like a golden sheen to it. It's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of Buxom Seychelles, the primer infused blush, but this one's a little less pigmented. And I'm actually gonna use the Flower Beauty blush brush. I've had this for a while and I really like this a lot. I don't think you can get the brushes from Flower at CVS. In the store at least you can't. You might be able to get them online. But I got mine a while ago at a Kroger because um, we don't have Kroger's here but my husband's family lives in Georgia and they have Kroger's there. So we were in a Kroger and I got this brush and I have to say I really, really like it. See how pretty that blush is? I like that so, so much. It's very subtle but very, very pretty. All right, now for one of the brand new flower products. It's been getting a lot of buzz is the new Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. So these came out in three shades. This is the shade Opal. And this looks exactly like the Charlotte Tilbury, what are they called, Beauty Light Wands in the Spotlight shade. Which is interesting because this is called the Spotlight Liquid Highlight in the shade Opal. But let me swatch this for you. So this is in this type of packaging with the sponge tip applicator. But look at this highlight. I own the Spotlight Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury, and this looks a lot like it. A lot like it. And FYI, if you get one of these, always remember to turn it to the off position when you're finished. Otherwise, your product will keep coming out, um, which is not good because then you end up wasting it. I made that mistake with my Charlotte Tilbury products that are like this. So I am going to 
tap some on. That might have been too much, but I'm just going to take my sponge and lightly kind of tap this in. Very pretty. It's very, very subtle. It looks more, I think, intense when you just look at a swatch of it, but then when you put it on the cheek, it definitely kind of shears out a little bit. I feel like it's a little less intense than the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight. That's just my opinion, because I do have that one. And I feel like this one is a little less intense. Now, I do want to point this out because I noticed this the first time I filmed this video and I'm kind of noticing it now too. For some reason, it doesn't blend super well. Like, I don't know if you can tell. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can kind of see the imprint of where I applied that big dot. It's like it spreads but it doesn't spread well or something. I don't know. I, I noticed that the first time I filmed this. And I thought maybe it was the weird stuff happening with my skincare underneath. But now that I see it happening again, I'm thinking it's probably not. And it's not super noticeable. It's just kind of something to keep in mind. Because I didn't let it sit for a long time before trying to blend it. And it's still kind of clinging a little bit like it doesn't want to spread all the way but it's nice it's very pretty it gives you a very similar look to the Charlotte Tilbury so if you wanted something like that but you wanted a more affordable option you would probably like this I think it came in this shade which is opal a rose gold which is more of the pinky golden color and then a bronze shade as well but Pretty impressed with this. I want to keep playing around with it and see what I think, but it is very pretty. Okay, we are going to move on to some eyeshadow, and we're definitely going to use some glitter today. I am so excited about it, but I'm going to go ahead and go over my under eyes one more time, and then I'm going to apply a small amount of the flower powder just because I know we are going to use glitter and I'm probably going to get some fallout so I feel like I need to at least put just a little bit of powder under there. So I used to own this powder a while ago and I ended up decluttering it. It just wasn't, I don't know, it's been a while since I tried it but I just didn't love it so I bought it again. For this video and this is the shade L1 porcelain so I'm gonna take it and literally just lightly tap under my eyes and just down my nose or down the side of my nose right here just in case we get some glitter I don't want it to be totally stuck to my face All right, let's move on to the eyes. I'm really excited about this because I have so many of their eyeshadows. And until the first time I filmed this video, I had never tried the eyeshadows. So the first thing we have is the Gimme Gold palette. Obviously a really gorgeous neutral palette and it does come with an eyeshadow brush, which is really nice. So here's what it looks like. It's mostly metallic shimmers, but then you do get this kind of mid-tone brown and then this deeper brown up here that are more of the matte shades. So what I'm thinking, I did an eye look earlier and I really liked it. So that's what we're gonna do again. So we're gonna go into this kind of mid-tone brown. We're also, spoiler, gonna use some of these. This is one of their quads, the Petal Play shadow quads in the shade in bloom wait till you see these so so pretty but first i'm gonna go into this matte brown and i'm gonna use the brush that came in the palette just so you can see what it looks like and i'm gonna apply this in the crease and then kind of bring it down 
these shadows really impressed me. Like the blendability is really good. I was really, really impressed with these. Because I don't have too many drugstore eyeshadows that I just love. Colourpop is good, obviously. Um, and then I do have the Maybelline Nudes of New York palette, which is really good as well. But I feel like drugstore eyeshadow can be kind of hit or miss sometimes. But these are really good. Then we're going to go back into that palette and I'm going to mix two shades. I'm going to mix this kind of chocolatey, yeah, I'm going to mix this chocolate brown with a little bit of golden shimmer with this matte dark brown. I'm just going to do like one tap of each and we're going to place this in the outer corner. This is a way you can tell if a palette's going to be good or not. See how when I just laid that color down it really went on pretty smooth. It doesn't look super patchy or anything and it blends like a dream honestly. That's a really good sign for eyeshadow. I'm just adding this to this outer corner because I don't want this to get too dark. I really want this to be more of a glittery, springy kind of look. But I do want to get that dimension in the outer corner. Alright, so we got those blended out. Now we're going to move on to this quad. And you guys, this is so pretty. I wasn't initially going to buy this since I already had this Gimme Gold palette, but I just could not resist the shimmers in here. I'm going to swatch them for you, and they do not disappoint. Look at these shimmers. And this palette came in a few different colors, but these tones they're so wet and foiled looking. Oh my gosh, they're so, so pretty. So pretty. It really reminded me of Charlotte Tilbury just when I was looking in the pan. So we're going to use these. Honestly, I want to use them all, but I really don't need all of these on my eyes at once. But the first one we're going to use is this one, which is a little more of a lilac purpley color. And I'm going to use my finger. And, I mean, do you see that already? And I'm just tapping that on. I mean, how pretty is that color? I mean, look at that. I just barely touched my eye. I was really curious about this quad from them in particular because I've thought about buying this before when I was in CVS and every single time this in bloom is out of stock and finally I went in and they had it but usually that's a sign that that one's really popular. <laughs> Let's take this really bright kind of a light gold and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I mean look at that. And kind of drag it over. I mean, do you see this? But like I said, if you're not a huge shimmer person, obviously you would not love this. But if you are, I mean, so stunning. But there's definitely some fallout. Like I can see the fallout already on my face. That, with this, if you are really bothered by that, I would say do your eyes first. But I never really love my makeup for some reason when I do my eyes first. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I have to do my face first to really see the makeup. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Now we're going to take this shade over here. So this is similar, but it's a little more of like a bronzy gold. It's not so light. 
And for this, I'm just going to tap this in the center and bring it up. I mean, oh my gosh. So pretty. All right, and we didn't use this light pinky color. We might put a little bit of that in the inner corner. I don't know, but this, if you love shimmer and you like these tones, you definitely need to try this. For my lower lash line, I think I'm just going to take a little bit of that brown that we used in the crease. And I'm just going to use that same little brush that it comes with and add a little bit of that. I really like that this palette comes with this little brush. I think that's really nice. And as you can see, there's so many other pretty shimmers in here, but there's just so many shimmers. I really don't need anything else, as you can see. But this, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this, obsessed. All right, now, should we put something in the inner corner? I kind of don't want to, because I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot. I guess you can kind of see. There's a lot of glitter fallout. So I think I might just skip the inner corner. But what I am going to do is take a little bit of the powder and that same brush and just see if I can get rid of any of it. But it looks like it's kind of stuck down in there. For mascara, I got the Warrior Princess mascara. They had a few different ones. This one had the best review, so that's why I went with this one. And this one has kind of the hourglass shaped brush, kind of similar to L'Oreal Lash Paradise or Too Faced Better Than Sex. And it has like the actual fiber bristles. It's not a rubber brush gonna add a few coats of this because I feel like we got a lot of glitter going on on the eyes so we need our lashes to stand out too. Okay so that's one coat and it looks really really good. It's very separating and definitely very lengthening. I really like how that looks actually. I'm going to try to add a second layer. Okay, yeah, that looks really nice. Really nice. This had really great reviews. Fingers crossed it does not smudge. Because if it doesn't, I feel like this is definitely going to be a new drugstore favorite for me if you want more of a dramatic kind of lash really pretty. I wish it came in black brown or just brown, but it looked like all of the Flower Beauty mascaras only came in black. All right, yeah, that mascara, really good, really, really good. If you've tried this, let me know if you like it or not, but it makes my lashes look really thick and voluminous with a few coats. I do think with one coat it's a little more lengthening, but if you add that second coat on top, really like that as well. Lastly, for the lips, I did get one of the Flower Perfect Pout Sculpting Lip Liners, and this one is in the shade Taupe. So these have the angled, kind of triangular tips, kind of similar to the Patrick Ta lip liners, if you're familiar with those. So that is the shade Taupe. It's really beautiful. It's more of a brown to me, like a pinky brown, but they call it Taupe. I had a bunch of colors in these actually at CVS. It's definitely, I would say more of a matte lip liner but still very creamy, and this color is beautiful. I really like this. And for the lips, of course, I couldn't decide between two of the lipsticks, so I just got both of them. These are, I think these are new. These are the Perfect Pout Moisturizing Lipsticks. So I got one 
in the shade Buttercup, which is more of a pinky nude. And then I got this one, which is the shade Peony. This one is a little more pink. They're both beautiful. So there is Peony and there is Buttercup really like them both. Thinking I'm going to do Buttercup first, which is the more nude color. Oh my gosh. These, I mean, I tried them earlier when I filmed, but these are so creamy. You guys, so creamy, so moisturizing, but they do give quite a bit of color. As you can see, these really, really like. So that was Buttercup, very, very beautiful with that lip liner especially. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of the pink one, Peony. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to the center of my lips. Look at that combo, so Oh, so good. These are great on their own, but they're really pretty mixed as well. And I don't have a gloss from Flower Beauty. I'm not sure if they even make one. I don't remember seeing one when I was at the store. But these are so creamy. They almost have like that lip glossy kind of look to them anyway. I don't feel like you really need it. Love this lip. Love, love, love. All right. The only other thing we have to try is this. I'm really nervous. The Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray. I feel like I don't really need any more powder, but we have to use this. It says, forget the mess. This spray on setting powder helps control shine and absorb excess oil, leaving skin with a soft matte finish. Shake up and spray six to eight inches from face in a sweeping motion. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I feel like I'm about to spray like WD-40 on my face or something. Oh, okay, so it's literally like an aerosol can. All right, ooh, has a pretty strong smell to it. I mean, it smells good. It smells like a very, I don't know, like a fresh load of laundry or something. I don't know, let's see. That? bizarre it feels like nothing it almost just feels like air on your face but stuff came out so I think something went on there definitely don't have a powdery look to my face but I do feel like the shine has gone down quite a bit interesting Okay, I'm gonna have to use this with other products and see what I think, because I'm not super familiar with this foundation. I don't use it a whole lot, but I wanna use this with other glowy products that I use all the time and see what I think, but very intriguing. Let me know if you've tried this. I know this was kind of going around for a while, I think on TikTok. I had one more thing I was gonna show you, but we really don't need it. We have so much glitter on my eyes already, but the, they just came out with these flower chrome crush pressed pigments. This one is the shade quartz and oh my gosh, these are pretty. This reminds me so much of the Natasha Denona chroma crystal top coat in the shade nude. This is what the shade quartz looks like. It almost has gold and silver sparkle in it. I don't know if you can see, but it really reminds me of those Natasha Denona top coats. I'll take just a little and put it on, even though you're not going to be able to see it. But it's definitely, I would say, a little more of a topper kind of shade, but so pretty. They came in like six or seven colors, but I'm really excited about flower eyeshadows for sure. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I wanted to just kind of give my updated thoughts on some of these products. So the first thing is my base makeup looks 
Okay, it's not my favorite foundation in the entire world. I don't know. I do feel like it emphasizes texture just a little bit, like around my nose area. I don't know. I like it, but I don't, it's not like a favorite for me, I don't think. Uh, and I also don't love the shade. I feel like I just can't get a good shade in the foundation or the concealer. I just, number one, I don't love how the concealer looks. I feel like it looks dry and I don't know, I'm just not loving it. And I can't find a good shade. So I'm not, I can't say I love the foundation and the concealer, but the bronzer and the blush, so, so beautiful. 10 out of 10 would recommend both of those. And the eyes, you guys, I mean, if you like glitter and you like purpley, pinky kind of tones, you need this in bloom quad in your life. The only thing is there is fallout. If that really bugs you, like I said, just do your eyes first, but this is beautiful. I really love this. I also love this lip combo. I love the liner and I really like the formula on these lipsticks. If you like something really moisturizing and something that gives a bit of color as well, you will love these, I guarantee you. Um, and then the powder spray, I have to keep trying it, like I said, I'm not really sure yet, but I will keep you posted. I'm gonna keep trying this out. And the Spotlight Wand is beautiful. Like I said, definitely, in my opinion, just a little more subtle than the Charlotte Tilbury. And I do think it's a bit difficult to blend at times, but it does look pretty and I like how it turned out. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and follow me over on Instagram at simply.player. I will see you guys next time for another video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.